today's agenda is there are five topics so the first one is what is business intelligence power bi means it is a business intelligence tool power bi bi stands for business intelligence so we will see what is business intelligence and what are the stages uh, in the business intelligence and what are the various uh, bi tools that is uh, what are the various uh, business intelligence tools available in the market we will discuss and why we need to use the power bi and then the introduction to the power bi first we will see what is the business intelligence so business intelligence is a technology driven process for analyzing the data and delivering actionable information that helps executives managers and employees make business decisions that means nowadays everybody is collecting the data at uh, in excel uh, like uh, in a table format L uh, let's say some rows and columns uh, everybody uh, every company is having the tons of the data so having only the data in a table format will never help us to understand what is going uh, within the business so what we need to do we need some business intelligence that is a technology driven process which helps to analyze the data and analyze and the visualize the data then once the data is visualized we will be easily understand the data to make the business decisions so as part of the business process organizations collect data from internal and external sources suppose if if you have a company you might collect the data from within your organization and even the client client data so within your organization it's called internal suppose if you are need any data from your client uh, that is called external that is not uh, comes under internal only the data is available within your organization called internal if you need any data from uh, any client or any uh, suppliers customers uh, vendors that is called external data sources and once we collect the data then we will prepare it for analysis and then create data visualizations and bi dashboards and reports to make the analytics results available to business users so the mainly the why business intelligence is to collect the data from various sources and analyze visualize and prepare the reports to the business users who are the business users business management managers business directors business ceos business uh, employees we understood why business intelligence is so let's say what are the stages in the business intelligence the stages mainly are categorized into four ways uh, data collection whatever the business intelligence we, we are doing basic step is to collect the data without the data we cannot uh, perform the business intelligence so the primary stage is data collection it helps to gather past and current data for improved decision making so it helps to gather the past past means historical suppose we are in february month january month data is called past that means historical data we cannot say we cannot ignore the past data so you know, using the historical data and current data we can make the improved uh, decisions so the primary step is data collection and data storage so once we collected the data in any of the format so we have to store it to analyze so it helps to store the data efficiently for future reporting and analysis so only collecting will not help so after collecting we need to uh, store the data in in any of the format
in any of the format it could be a sql server it could be a google cloud it could be ibm cloud it could be uh, oracle uh, database or any database then once we store the data then the data analysis in the data analysis stage data is analyzed using the quantitative and data is analyzed using the qualitative and the quantitative approaches and various patterns and trends are identified to provide future insight so so once we store, uh, store the data we need to analyze so how we can analyze we need the qualitative and the quantitative approaches and then providing data access so once we analyze the data we have to share with the, um, our managers team leads and uh, uh, company management and all so how we can share with them we need to provide the access to that reports and dashboards then only they will be able to see the uh, reports and they will be able to make the decisions so providing access to data allows the users to perform an analysis and view the results through various reporting tools and dashboards so the main stages are data collection data storage and data analysis and providing data access so these are the four uh, stages uh, within the business intelligence so let's move on to the next topic various bi tools so in the market including the power bi there are several bi tools i have here collected uh, trending softwares in the market so one is obviously microsoft power bi then sap tableau data pine micro strategy click sense uh, joho analytics oracle bi and ibm cognos also so these are the some major uh, bi tools in the market so out of all these tools we are going to concentrate on microsoft power bi so till here any doubts Uh, sap also is a kind of uh, data storage is the database is there sap database and sap uh, uh, bi tools also available using the sap you can analyze the data visualize the data you can create reports dashboards and share with the uh, management so when we are having these many uh, data visualization and bi tools why do we need only the power bi Power BI can connect to more than 70 on premises and cloud data sources to turn information into interactive visuals. Power BI has the ton uh, more than 70 on uh, on premises. That means we can connect more than 70 uh, data sources. Like we can connect to SQL, we can connect to S. Uh, excel we can connect to ms access we can connect to ibm cloud google cloud google sheets uh, uh, like that there are more than 70 uh, sources we can uh, connect and we can get the data into the power bi and data scientists and developers work with power bi desktop to produce reports and make them available to the power bi service so any data scientist or developer uh, work with the power bi desktop tool to produce the reports and dashboards and once they produce the uh, dashboards and reports we can publish them into power bi service and give the uh, access to that respective uh, users so i have here given the power bi link also if you have any doubt you can go to this link and you can uh, learn more uh, much more about the power bi this is the power bi official website and then uh, introduction to the power bi 
So Power BI is a business intelligence tool which provides built-in tools to collect the data. So in Power BI, there are already uh, built-in tools uh, uh, to connect to any data source and get the data into the Power BI engine. Th there are tools to transform, to aggregate, and easily connect to several data sources, and then modeling the data. Modeling, what is modeling here? Modeling is nothing but when you connect it to the any data source, you may get the large number of data. So you may not require all the data uh, to analyze. So you can delete few rows, you can delete unwanted columns, you can shape up the data, you can replace the values, you can create calculated columns, and you can use the joins, you can merge the data, you can append the data. And then you can uh, visualize your data by creating dynamic reports. So using Power BI, we can perform the, this much of the work to analyze the report and create to create the dashboards. Please subscribe to my channel Chetana Pixel if you are not done yet. Request your comments on this video. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.